This is Seven National News and in our top story, the delegation of the Khalifa bin Zayed Humanitarian Foundation has arrived in the Yemeni city of Zanzibar to undertake humanitarian activities. The foundation distributed 800 food parcels among displaced people in the city in cooperation with the concerned local authorities. In a statement to Emirates news agency WAM, the governor of Abjan, Jamal al Akel, hailed the humanitarian gesture, saying that this is the first organization who has reached here to provide assistance among the Zanzibar population hard hit by difficult humanitarian conditions. He also commended the 500 million dirham grant of the UAE president His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan for buying various food items to be distributed among Yemeni people. The UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, made an inspectional visit to the Ministry of Education in Dubai on Monday. Accompanied by Dubai's Crown Prince, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Dubai's Deputy Ruler, Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Sheikh Mohammed viewed the achievements and initiatives implemented by the ministry over the past year and its logistic preparations for the academic year 2012 to 2013. Sheikh Mohammed was welcomed by the Minister of Education, who made Mohammed Obeid Al Khatami, along with a number of ministry officials. Al Khatami touched on a number of initiatives launched by the Ministry of Education, including the introduction of smart classes. Spirits were high last night as over 150 students of the Emirates Aviation College were awarded at their graduation ceremony. Students will now be embarking on a new chapter in their life. Representing over 25 nationalities, this marks the 20th ceremony since the inception in 1991. With hundreds of family, friends and Emirates senior management in attendance, Dr Ahmed Al Ali, the Vice Chancellor of the Institution for Higher Education in Aviation Studies, conferred degrees across a multitude of disciplines. Dr Ahmed added that 22% of the graduates have earned their second degree from the college at the ceremony. UA nationals and expatriates who choose to study with the college are supported with internal career opportunities, as well as development and training programs. A lot of uh, high school students are more aware now of what's going around them. And we have uh, an open day last month and it's been very popular. A lot of high school students would come and ask questions. They never used to come, but it's always parents that drive them to the college and ask questions for them. Now they're very enthusiastic, and they're especially interested in uh, our aeronautical engineering and our uh, aircraft maintenance uh, license, as well as air transport pilot license. Those are the three programs that they're always interested in. Top achievers of the night, Christine Lobo and Trond Tanez, expressed that fulfilling a full-time position and studying at the same time was challenging. There's no point actually just uh, mugging up theory without really applying it because really you're not learning anything out of that then. If you're able to um, apply to your work environment or any environment for that matter, I think it's worth it because really what you do in life as the speech actually told us was to learn from experience and when you apply what you've learned and you know get experience with that, it is a good combination and it really adds uh, what you call the substance to your life because education is part of your life. So I feel that way very strongly. I'm with Emirates Airline, and uh, that's a very fast-growing and dynamic organization. And um, uh, I saw myself uh, maybe to be able to fit within or that organization and um, saw an opportunity to uh, be part of the growth and everything that has happened here. And uh, that's one reason I decided to come here. Four projects in Abu Dhabi have been chosen among the 100 most innovative and inspiring urban infrastructure projects in the world. Profiles of Abu Dhabi's Urban Planning Vision 2030, Mazdar City, Paris Sarbonne University and Yas Island Waste Management in Abu Dhabi have featured in KPMG's Global Infrastructure 100 World Cities Edition. For the region, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and Qatar were also chosen. KPMG 
Energy's Global Infrastructure 100 provides an insight into the infrastructure projects that make great cities with a particular focus on the innovations that make them cities of the future, places where people want to live and do business. This year's edition was released at the World City Summit in Singapore. Experts say that as 80% of energy comes from cities, the report aims to promote innovative ideas within them. There were five criteria for the, for the selection of the projects. Um, the scale of the projects is obviously important, um, but, but more than that is probably the feasibility. You know, is it sustainable in the current market? Is funding going to be available for the project? Um, then the other three were the technical and financial complexity of the, of the project. Um, but the... Uh, the panelists also spent a lot of time looking for new innovation, new technology, emerging challenges that are, and, and uh, emerging solutions which are coming onto the market. So innovation was quite important. And then the fifth one was the impact on society, which is, is probably two aspects. Is, is both the quality of life, which for all of us is, is important, but, but even more so and perhaps more relevant to Abu Dhabi is, is the impact on the economy. So by building a modern efficient infrastructure, you actually encourage development of the economy. The first of its kind visually impaired friendly automated telemachine in the country and the region was revealed in Sharjah today. Sharjah Islamic Bank announced this morning that the initiative is a part of their corporate social responsibility and was announced at the Emirates Association for the Blind, which is where the ATM is located. The ATM features a large English and Arabic braille keypad, a bilingual audio system in addition to a headphone and external speakers to ensure ensure the user's privacy. A money withdrawal and balance inquiry will now be a click away. According to His Excellency Mohammed Abdullah, the CEO of SIB, the initiative is only the beginning. They were so happy, first of all, that there is, there's a bank, in fact, open their arms uh, for them. And uh, we have dealt with them, in fact, are as exactly normal customers. And we have opened uh, banking accounts for them. We have uh, trained them in using the ATMs. And they are so happy and they are so, in fact, pleased to uh, have a bank, you know, opening uh, its arm to them. And, and, in fact, you know, what we believe that, you know, uh, we should cover uh, the entire segments of the, of the society. It's not only the, the normal people. Meanwhile, making this technically possible is the computer network system company responsible for implementing the unique design. It's completely different when it comes to the culture uh, of the people using such systems like this. And that's why <clears throat> um, the main challenge for us was taking this um, uh, initiative into consideration and to try to customize the solution as much as we can to meet the requirements and the needs actually of the uh, blind people actually in, in, in the UAE. Taking into consideration, as I said, the culture, the environment, the language, and all of these things was the main actually um, uh, challenge. Health Plus has revealed that it will invest 8.5 million dirhams to double the capacity of its existing fertility centre in Abu Dhabi and open a new clinic for IVF treatment in Al Ain. The 8.5 million dirham investment in IVF services comes in response to the growing demand on fertility diagnosis and treatments in general and the increase in the number of patients seeking the service. According to a statement released by Health Plus, a recent study revealed that there is a shortfall of over 3,800 treatment cycles in Abu Dhabi that are required to help married couples conceive. In the next five to ten years, this shortfall will increase to up to 4,500 cycles. And up next, we have the day's business news, so stay with us.